Ahoy, my friends, Ryder here, and welcome back to another Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis video. We have just gotten a new notice in the game, and now we can see that it is in fact true, my Japanese was correct, all characters will be getting a new limit break coming to Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis. I am absolutely ecstatic about this. This is so sick. Um, and now we actually have a list of the individual limit breaks right here. So here we have Cloud, he's getting Klim Hazard. So my guess is that it's going to be a very powerful single target attack. We have Barret getting Satellite Beam, uh, which should be a pretty powerful AOE attack. I thought this looked like Catastrophe in the, um, in the little trailer video that came with you that came uh, on the YouTube video, but this makes a lot more sense actually that it's satellite beam. Tifa's is dolphin blow, that's what I thought it was gonna be. So that one's gonna be pretty sick. And maybe Tifa's might be elemental based. We might be getting certain elements added to limit breaks in the game, we don't know. If there was a chance for this, it would be with Tifa's dolphin blow. Other than that, there's a fairly high chance that they're all gonna stay non-elemental. Here we have Aerith's Breath of the Earth. I cannot remember exactly what this limit break does. It's been a while since I played FF7 OG. Um, so I'm going to check this out in a little bit here online to see what it does. Red 13 is going to get Stardust Ray, which is a AoE attack. I sh at least I think it should be an AoE attack. It's normally pretty powerful. Yuffie is getting Landscaper, which we did see when she originally dropped in the event. She was using it. Zack is getting Apocalypse. So in Crisis Core, Apocalypse was the limit break that was tied to Genesis. So maybe guys, this might be a sign that Genesis could be coming to the game. It could be a kind of hint because for every limit break that Zack gets in Crisis Core, it's associated with a different character. And this limit break honestly is the one that, you know, I kind of least expected him to get, but the fact that he's getting Apocalypse, I don't know, it could be a sign that Genesis is coming, which would be so rad, because as of right now, I just kind of wonder what Crisis Core characters would come to the game. I feel like Genesis would be so fun, it would be so awesome to actually be able to play him in a game, so that would be super cool. Sephiroth's is called Heliacal Rising. Um, I'm guessing it's a single target, kind of like Klim, Har Klim Hazard Attack. Then we have Glenn's Hell on Wheels, and then Matt's Vanquishing X. Don't know what that's going to be. And last but not least, we have Lucia's Cheering Shot. So I'm guessing that this is some type of like supportive uh, defensive buff slash heal for the team. That could be really interesting because honestly, some of the defensive ones like Matt's Gigantic Shield are extremely helpful depending on certain content. All right, so let's go back up here. Let's go to Breath of the Earth, and let's go check out Aerith Limit Break, Breath of the Earth. Let's see what this did. The Breath of the Earth Limit Break is Aerith's first level two limit break and is unlocked after 80 enemies. The Limit Break allows Aerith to cure negative status ailments such as poison, sleep, frog, petrify, slow, numb, small fury, confusion, stop, and silence. That's actually pretty sick. So essentially she's getting a full on remedy limit break right here, which might be really helpful for certain status effect enemies to come. Um, so yeah, let's see here. Barret uh, satellite beam. Okay, satellite beam. Let's see here. Where is it? Da da da. Yeah, it's not giving us information. It's just an AoE. Uh, it's just going to be an AoE limit break attack. All right, guys. Well, that's going to basically do it for this video. I wanted to jump in here and um, show you guys all the new limit breaks. I'm so excited about these. I know that uh, people want to be farming the premium quest for genome pods right now. And I still think that people should do that. 
I think that limit breaks have been so rare in the game, it's been seven months probably since it launched. And so we have time to build them. It's not like well, these need to drop and everyone needs to drop everything they're doing, put your fork back down on your plate and immediately get all these limit breaks to level 10. I'm gonna be taking my time with them. You'll find that you need some more than others and those are the ones that you're gonna to wanna to focus on. Uh, for the end of this video, I am gonna do just a couple ticket pulls right here, just for fun. So I'll basically pull until I don't get a five star. So if I don't get a five star on the first one, that's going to be the end of the video. But if I get 10 five stars in a row, then we'll just keep going. All right, so let's skip through that. Oh, there we go. There's one. It is Lucia. Oh, no, it's Yuki. Oh, no way. I never had the diner tray. That's actually pretty sick. Now they just need to come up with a way to bring back costumes that we've missed you know because it's kind of like uh you know it's um what's the word it's not as appealing to wishlist a west oh a, a, a weston it's not as appealing to wishlist a weston a weapon if um if you're missing the arcanum costume set for it wow all right there's glenn and lucia let's go which one's this all right, there's the SSR. Ooh, and the Hardcore Squad. All right, so pull's looking pretty good today. Maybe this is an indicator that I should pull for Kate Sith coming tomorrow. All right, let's see what I get here. You guys think it's going to be a five-star? I think that we could go three in a row. Oh, we won't go three in a row. All right, guys. Well, that is going to conclude the video today. I'm totally open for people theory crafting and... Uh, on what these limit breaks fully might entail. Are we going to be getting more physical attack buffs, defensive buffs? Are we getting elemental attributes added to them? Who knows? And more. We will figure that out come tomorrow in Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis. That being said, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Take care and peace.